Hello, good, every, good evening everyone. I'm writer coach Tony and <coughs> welcome back. <coughs> Sorry. Um, first of all, I'd like to apologize <coughs> for being away so long because um, I've been a bit busy and um, I'd also like to apologize for the place. Um, my house is crowded right now and I could not find a uh, uh, place a desk you not know, for my work this is actually my desk and um, so I apologize for the background here is, you can see my modest dining room and refrigerator and you know, all the plates but uh, my vlog has to go on and um, I still get inquiries from people so I will continue to vlog so today I'm going to answer the question of Jennifer Forio Natividad um, she wrote to me, she said, Good afternoon, sir. Sir, a lot of students here says research is not important. Di naman namin yan magagamit sa trabaho or future. How research is important as a whole? No, thank you. So, she's basically asking, um, why are we doing research? Um, and I'm actually, sur I'm actually surprised as to why the students say they do not need research. You know, I think that's a... Um, Kind of a weird question no? because the reality is uh, even in their daily lives they actually do research no for example uh, example like mom Jennifer no she has a crush on this certain guy so what does she do first research diba? what does she do first she gets the guy's name asks from a friend that's already research every time you ask a question you're already researching Every time you're looking for facts, you're already researching. And what does she do? She checks the Facebook of that guy. She checks the Instagram. She checks the Twitter to look for, you know, to check out the guy. So that's research, diba? So uh, young people, don't tell me don't research because all of you are stalkers. We are all stalkers. We stalk other people. We stalk the people we like, you know? And uh, that will never stop, no? I'm almost 50, and I still like certain people. It's not really stock. Stock is a very harsh word. It's just like, uh, we kind of check out other people, no? find out who their family is, who their friends are. Uh, because, you know, when we meet them, our goal is actually to find a common topic to talk about, no? Like, if you see that they went to Boracay, we could also, we can make that our conversation so we actually do research so young people don't tell me you do not do research every day you are researching every day when you check those channels you're actually researching that's research okay so um, so it's very important because um, on that level no um, you want to go to first base and one way to go to get to first base is to know a little bit of that person. During my time, when we did not have internet, when we did not have social media, we have to ask the girl's best friend, the boy's best friend, or the boy's barcada, the girl's barcada, about what he or she likes, ano gusto niya pagkain, ano gusto niya color. So normally, that is how we do the research. Nowadays, we can skip that and go straight to the social media. No? Because from there, if you search long enough you'll find the person's interests because you know if you look at facebook facebook is a bit creepy because they show the person's interest no? the algorithm is so good that you can see if the person is interested what his politics are kung dutertard ba siya, kung dilawan ba siya, if he likes fashion if he likes movies if he likes games no? so uh, by not really stalking by checking out the person's social media, you are already doing research. No? So, again, third time na sinabi, young people do not tell me you do not do research, na hindi siya importante. That is the most stupid comment I've ever heard. Because everything you do, you research. No? Okay. Um, why do we do it? Because it's a discipline. No? It's, a, it's a form of discipline. Um, because in real life, um, you're perpetually researching, no? Um, like if you want shoes, no? You, you research on the internet. Look for the cheapest or look for the brand that you really like. Um, 
what cell phone should I buy? Should I buy an iPhone 12? Uh, is it worth it? So you research. No? So really, don't tell me research is not important. But for the academic field, what research does is number one, it helps you ask questions. Um, one thing I've noticed among Filipinos, hindi tayo masyado matanong, no? Um, especially my generation, we were not raised to ask questions, no? We were just asked to listen. I'm just glad right now that many of the young people, no, like Liza Soberano, Angel Luxin, they dare to talk and ask the important questions, no? Uh, it's, because uh, for all those people, it's a sign of disrespect. But for me, it's not, no? It's just that, um, Young people should talk and ask questions. If something is bothering you, uh, you ask questions, and in a way, that's a form of research already, you know, because you're asking questions. I think that's the most difficult part in research, how to formulate your question. Um, so research is, again, I say it's a discipline. So it's important because it helps develop your mind, you know, the way you think, the way you solve problems, you know? Uh, I think that's a major reason why you need research, why we do research. Uh, we try to solve problems. For example, mundane example, no? let's say your boyfriend is always giving excuses, you know? so you, you research, you, know? you check his cell phone, you observe him, you check his habits. You know? So again, don't tell me you do not need research because it's the first thing you actually do. When there's a problem cropping up, you research. On a more technical level, let's say, um, okay, let's go to the typhoon. No, there was a typhoon lately, and it caused so much damage no, to to Albay. No, I watched the TV tonight, and it's so heartbreaking to watch the news. No, so I think if you do research on that, um, the question I could pose is, what can the government do? No, or the scientists do uh, so that you know, those people in because if they lived in Mayan volcano near Mayan volcano Hinubatan Albay so the when the when the typhoon came the lahar fell and it with it came mud and it killed so many people it's very sad no, when I saw the TV patrol kanina so the research part you can do there if you're a scientist is um, to find out how those deaths can be prevented. No, para wala nang mamatay dahil sa lahar. So, what you can do is to study the, the, the topography of the land near Mayon Volcano. No? Ano ang mga lugar doon na huwag na dapat tirahan? Never na tirahan. No? Paalisin ang mga tao, no man's zone na siya. Pwede pumunta, but huwag titirahan. No? So, I think, if you go, if you use a concept of research again, you are looking for ways to solve a problem. That's why you need to research. You are solving a problem. And again, using the Typhoon Rolly example, um, the problem is um, people die or people have died because of the Typhoon which caused the Lahar to fall. So we do not want people to die, no? So uh, the goal for research is to find out what places near my volcano should not be lived again and of course where to transfer these people. You know, it's a very complex problem. But our goal is to save lives, no? Wala na sana mamamatay dahil sa, dahil sa typhoon, dahil sa lahar, no? So yun ang, gagaw, yun ang role ng research. Um, so once again, I want to reiterate, in your love life, in your social life, in almost everything you do, in when you go shopping, diba? Kahit na you go to the supermarket, what's the first thing you do? You check the prices, diba? Tapos, you look at those na nasa budget mo. So, you're doing researching. And then, you check the ingredients. Ito ba ang hinahanap mo? Ito ba expiry date na gusto ko? Saan ba ito ginawa? China ba? France? Philippines? You know, so... Every, almost every decision we make, we need to do research. So again, young people, do not tell me you do not need research in your life, no? Because you're actually doing it every day. Ginagawa niya siya every day, it's, in, it's instinctive, no, to you. Um, the reason why the academic world is teaching you to do research is to, um, so that, in my case, no, you don't become too emotional. 
kasi sa buhay ang dami daming problema no? you meet lots of problems what the school teaches you is to look at that problem objectively no? objectively tingnan mo yung problema objectively you look for solutions you have a hypothesis you form a hypothesis in your mind and then you apply the solution no? so it's a step by step process no? you ask questions you you have a hypothesis and then you prove your hypothesis using a methodology um, the research part teaches you to use mathematics no? among other things no? uh, it's just that most of the research I've done uses statistics so the statistics helps you to find to solve the problems no? if you want to because there, there are so many problems uh, in the world today no? that has to be solved it has to be researched on you know? um, so like let's say mental health no or the kids cannot go out anymore so how is that affecting their their growth no their 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 mental health their emotional health so on dami dami research no so what what the academy wants to teach you is to be more objective no as a person wag mo emotional when you make decisions um, you study the problem and find because every problem has a solution eh? no? you don't have to, to be dramatic about it lahat na problema may solution and there are people you can go to uh, who can help you with those problems no? so that's what uh, research uh, teaches you, you know? it teaches you structure it teaches you objectivity kasi dito when you, when you analyze na um, yeah, you have to be objective about it, no? Uh, you have to look at the results clearly, especially in math, especially when you use statistics, because the mathematical result will uh, give you the the, the 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 solution to the problem. No? Kung may problema ba talaga, and then um, you as a person will analyze it and find ways and recommendations to solve the problem. Um, it's a very important skill. Research is a very important skill. <coughs> it will teach you to be um, more inquisitive. No? Matanong ka. And then, um, it teaches you to solve problems. No? Not only in your work, but also in your personal life, in your social life. No? So, research is very important. So, anyway, I hope I was able to answer your question, Ma'am Jennifer Furio Natividad. I'm sorry for the delay. <laughs> I've been very busy. But I hope it answered your questions. No? Uh, please follow me in my social media, no? my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram. And then please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much, everyone. And um, keep safe. Good night.